Good day everyone. I am Mr. Ogunba Mila. I will be talking about information and communication technology. Here are the highlights of today's class. Information and communication technology, ICT, we're going to attempt the definition. We're going to talk about the internet, what the internet is, and the components, elements of the internet. Computer ethics, responsible ways of using the computer and internet. Areas of misuse of computer and internet then, questions and answer session. Information and communication technology, ICT. ICT, which is also known as information and communication technology, involves the use of computer and other electronic communication means to manage and process information effectively. ICT uses computers, satellite communications, GSM phones, internet, television, and so on to effectively send and receive information. The image here depicts several ICT devices. You have the phones, you have the uh, laptop computers, you have the desktop computers, you have the LCD screens, you have the TV set, you have the headset, you have the sound player, sound bars, and so on and so forth. Now, what are the uses to which ICT or ICTs are put? First, information gathering, processing, and distribution. ICTs are major tools for gathering, processing, and distribution of information. Next is education. ICTs aid learning and help break many barriers to learning. Now we can learn remotely through Skype and through other e-learning platforms like Coursera, Khan Academy, Code Academy, and so on. Edufest.ng. Now, information security. ICT has many features that help to protect and secure our information. Communication. ICT enhances effective use of radio, TV, video, and other multimedia devices such as the computer, mobile phones, and 4G to 5G for effective communication. Timing and control. Operations are effectively timed by computers and other ICT media. It also offers effective control of resources, for example, traffic management system. Now, what is the internet? The internet can also be called net. I'm browsing the net. Now, by definition, it is a global connection of computers connecting to each other, sharing available resources and communicating effectively. This global network links millions of computers in universities, government agencies, research institutions and business organizations throughout the world. The World Wide Web, emails, websites, social networking sites, search engines, browsers are all components of the internet. They are not on their own the internet. Please take note. Abuse of the internet. The internet is said to be abused when used for many of the following. Cybercrime. When you use computer and associated network for criminal activities. Here, the Yahoo Yahoo 419 labels come to mind. Cyberbullying. Use of ICTs through the IC internet for deliberately bullying, harassing, and threatening other people. Spamming. Using electronic messaging system and sending unsolicited messages to people for the purpose of advertising and other means, deliberately from the same site or email. When you continually send information that is not needed or emails that are not needed to people, consistently it is tagged as you spamming them it is an abuse phishing in some respects phishing is a confidence trick is designed by would-be thieves in order to deprive unsuspecting computer users of their most precious personal and all financial information malware software designed to arm a user's computer including computer viruses cyber stalking when someone is monitoring and following your footprint online with the aim of arming you or stealing from you. Now, computer ethics. Computer ethics are rules, standards, and guidelines that are adopted and practiced by computer professionals. Computer ethics can be categorized as safety ethics, maintenance ethics, environmental ethics, and moral ethics. Safety ethics, these are cautious, cautions taken by users to prevent avoidable danger or harm. 
maintenance ethics. These are all measures put in place to ensure the good condition and long span of the computer system. Environmental ethics. This relates to all issues in respect of the safety of the environment. While moral ethics are moral issues relating to persons using the computer. Now, let's talk about responsible ways of using the computer and the internet. Computers should computer users should take the following precautions while using a computer system. One, obey rules and regulations. So students should strictly and always obey the laid down rules and regulations in the use of the computer system. Avoid liquids dropping into the system. You should be careful and avoid eating and drinking in the computer laboratory. This will prevent liquids from dropping into the system. Even while working on your personal computer, you should make sure you keep food, water, and anything that can, that can damage the computer far away from the computer. Protect the system from power problems. Stabilizers, such protectors, and UPS should be installed in the computer laboratory. This measure will protect the computer from avoidable damage. Responsible ways of using the internet. Some precautions to be taken when using the internet. Behave lawfully. For example, is a crime to act, steal, illegally download or cause damage to other people's work, identity or property online. Protecting your privacy that and that of others and also recognizing your rights and responsibility when using digital media. Thinking about your online activities affect yourself, other people you know, and the wider online community. Be respectful and expect respect. That is, respect for yourself and other people is important in our relationship and is no different when you are online. Protect your reputation. I repeat, protect your reputation. Make sure your child understands the consequences of posting photos and videos uploading other and uploading other personal content. Now, let's do a recap of what we have done. I've said the internet is a network of interconnected computers sharing resources together across the globe. And also, smart technologies are based on the use of ICTs. There are different ICTs, as we have said. ICT can be used for storing information, processing, gathering, and distributing information, for timing and control, and um, for communication. Now, there are also moral rules and standards relating to <coughs> the computer profession. So we need to understand all of this. Now, here is, here is an assignment for you. The f you have to give your own definition of ICT, you have to also define computer ethics and list 10 ICT gadgets that you can find around you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me an email. Thank you.